Good afternoon. Yes, so it's been a rough match for the team currently as we head into this match against the Blue Hills. Uh, what adjustments have you made to your team strategy and tactics to try and uh, better the result that will come out of tomorrow's game? Uh, we we only had uh, I think we have only had uh, one day of practice, uh, but uh, I think it's just to get uh, the psychology of the players back on track and continue because the season we practice from the beginning of the season we put uh, in place everything at the beginning of the season so we continue building on it so we we supposed to drop back and. Uh, remember what we've been doing from the beginning of the season, practice uh, the practices that we've been doing and the team tactics that we've been using. I think uh, if we just uh, come down a bit and refocus, tomorrow's game we will do a bit better. Yes, but now do you think that the, the, the two losses that you've had in your last two games have affected the morale of the players and if, if they have, what steps have you taken to address this? Yeah, of course, uh, when you lose uh, two on the bounce and uh, you don't score, it uh, brings down the morale of the of the players and everybody concerned around the team. And most of the times, um, what we do and what we don't want to do is uh, you don't want to uh, look for the negatives uh, all around. You look for the positives and try to push on from there. Yeah, we haven't scored in the last two games which has not been good and we have considered uh, quite a number, meaning that uh, even our stronger department, in, is, which has been our defence and the goalkeeping has let in six goals in the last two games, which is not very good. So we must uh, refocus, uh, get everybody back on board, everybody, everybody must, uh, must be on board, everybody on the club, players, everybody, even the fans, uh, the fans have to be back their team even in uh, difficult moments. If you back your team in a difficult moment, you are probably going to get uh, better moments. And we have had them this season, and I think uh, we can get one tomorrow. Because uh, we are not still too far. We can still be a top six, even top five team by the end of the season. Yes, Coach, we're talking about your opponents in tomorrow's game, Arua Hill Sports Club. Uh, the first leg did not go in your favor with a 2 1 loss in Arua at the very first stadium. And they're actually not so far away from you in the table standings, only three points ahead of you. And a win against them would push you ahead of them in the table standings. Uh, how crucial will this match be in terms of your team's aspiration for the season? And what are your expectations from the players? Yeah, of course, uh, there are three points ahead of us. and. Uh, was this like I said? Uh, if you if you get a positive result from tomorrow's game, you could easily leapfrog them and uh, uh, occupy. I think the fifth position would be the highest would go after tomorrow's game. So which is which would be still within our reach. So we must refocus. The players uh, have to refocus. The coaches have to refocus. The fans have to push their team across the line. So we still have. Uh, Two more games to play, and uh, in those two games, those are six points. And uh, who knows what happens thereafter? We could even end up as far as fourth because all those points, de de depending on what the results come from other games, you could even finish fourth on the last day of the season. So we will go into tomorrow's game and give it the best shot we can to make sure that uh, we get uh, three points from the game and and see where it, it leaves us after the game. Yes, but now, uh, talking about your team, are there any injury concerns or suspensions within your squad that will affect your team's lineups and selections? Yeah, um, we have uh, suspensions. Uh, Mandela is out of the game tomorrow because of uh, accumulated uh, yellow cards. Uh, Odong, right back, will also probably miss the game because of the injury that uh, he got uh, against Vipers in the same finals of the Uganda Cup. And I think that is it. That those those are two players probably you don't expect to see in, in tomorrow. You won't see them in tomorrow's game. Uh, so, but the others are there. So we have to look for ways. Of course, the other players to come in, trying to fit them in, and see how we can make um, a solid uh, team to get us uh, three points in tomorrow's game. Yes, coach. Uh, obviously, your team has shown so much resilience and character throughout this season. What message would you like to send to the fans that will be coming to watch your, your, your last home game tomorrow? Yeah, it's the last home game of the season. Um, we 
we haven't uh, performed maybe to the expectations of everybody but uh, we have done our very very best to see that uh, we still have a, an opportunity of finishing even in the top four uh, into the last game so i appeal the fans to come and support their football club because it's their football club we don't play for anybody else when you go out there we play for the fans so uh, we have tried our level best to give them the excitement that uh, they have been looking for. We have uh, won uh, several games this season, so we expect them to come and give us a push until the last game of the season, and also come and see their team uh, as they play our last home game of the season. Of course, uh, last league game because we will still have a, a second leg tie against Vipers, but it will be the last home league game, uh, and we would we would. Uh, pray and think that uh, they should come push us across the line because uh, the fans can really do that.